What happened if a grain of sand hit the Earth at the speed of light? Let's take an asteroid and change its radius to two millimeters. And of course, set it to the speed of light. And there goes the grain of sand. It's so small you can barely see it. It hit the Earth, but it doesn't seem to have caused much damage. Okay, now we can see a very strong shock wave. It's spreading across the entire planet. The fragments even hit the backside of the Earth. What a disaster. Let's see if there's still life on Earth. Yeah, 92 is a good percent. Seems like a grain of sand isn't enough to extinguish humanity. Throw the same meteor that killed the dinosaurs at America. Let's change the size of our meteor to 14 kilometers. The same size that wiped out the dinosaurs. Yeah, it hit the Earth, and we can already see a huge shockwave. I think the people in the USA aren't very happy with this situation. Wow, many fragments from the meteor impact are colliding with the entire world. Okay, that's not good. We can see that many other fragments are floating in Earth's orbit, waiting to fall. Let's fast forward a bit to see what happens. Wait a minute, did you guys see that? Wow, that's insane. There's a huge river between Brazil and Colombia. For sure, people living in America aren't happy. But on the other side, a huge lake appeared in the middle of Africa. Let's see what the likelihood of life on Earth is. Yeah, 92% is a great number. The Earth is surrounded by asteroid dust, causing sunlight to disappear for 15 years. The average temperature of the Earth decreases to 15 degrees. That's the same temperature it was when the dinosaurs went extinct. But it didn't wipe out human life like it did with the dinosaurs. That's because humans can survive in low temperatures, but dinosaurs couldn't. What would happen if Earth rotated at the speed of light? So let's start slowly and double the rotation speed of the Earth. Yeah, the sea started swallowing some parts, but nothing major. Yeah, I can't see any significant difference, so let's increase it a bit more. Okay, now things are getting fast. Wow, we can already see the sea taking over Africa. Yeah, Brazil is also suffering from the speed of the Earth. Let's advance a bit and see what happens. Ooh, that's not good. Looks like this was the south part of America at some point. Yeah, look this. There are only two continents now on Earth, north and south. Yeah, let's increase it even more. Wow, there's no trace of water at the two poles. The ocean only exists in the middle. I think at this point, human life no longer exists. So let's do the final blow. Yeah, the Earth is now starting to break apart. Nothing can withstand the pressure of the rotation at this point. Let's focus on what matters, the speed of light. Wow, the Earth exploded instantly. Let's take another look in slow motion. Yeah, everything shattered just as I thought. Incredible. What happens if you put a small black hole near to the sun? So let's put it right here and change its size to one millimeter. Okay, we can see that the black hole has started to orbit the sun. It looks like it's playing with its food. Yeah, let's increase it to one centimeter. And it's still orbiting the sun as if nothing is happening. Wait a minute. It seems like the sun is turning blue now. Yeah, the black hole started eating the sun slowly. Okay, now that's the view of the Earth. Everything blue. Yeah, I think people on Earth must not be very happy with that. Let's increase it now to one kilometer. Yeah, it seems like the black hole changed its orbit. Wow, it ate the sun in milliseconds. Okay, only fragments of the sun are left, and it sucked everything up, leaving the Earth in complete darkness. Let's fast forward a bit and see what happens. Ooh, that's not good. And just nine years later, we're completely frozen. Yeah, we can see some small pieces of land here. Let's see if there's still life. Yeah, 72 is a good number, but the solar system became a mess. Yeah, we can see that the black hole is very far away, so let's hope this never happens. What would happen if we exploded the sun? So let's select the sun and explode it. Okay, the sun turned into a supernova, and it seems like it's growing rapidly. We can see that it became 10 times the size of the sun in milliseconds, and the average temperature of Earth is increasing very rapidly. In some places, the snow has already started melting. We can see that the vegetation in America is being evaporated. Ooh, that's not good. The likelihood of life on Earth started to drop rapidly. Yeah, the supernova started to swallow Earth. Wow, the ocean is turning into lava. That's crazy. Okay, I think Earth is getting a bit hot here. This part facing the supernova got so hot that it turned blue. It seems like smoke is coming out of the Earth. So let's see how things are going on the other planets. Yeah, Venus is in the same situation as us. We can see that the supernova has already taken over half of the solar system. Okay, I think Uranus is not doing very well. And after two minutes, the supernova took over the entire solar system. And only two planets are left, Neptune and Uranus. And the funniest part is that the supernova keeps growing. What would happen if the sun were much hotter? So let's start slowly and double the heat of the sun. Yeah, we can see that the Andes Mountains have started to melt. Okay, the rest of the planet seems to be normal. So let's increase it a bit more. We can see the Earth's temperature is rising a lot. Wow, a large part of the North Pole has thawed. An average of 40 degrees is a bit hot, I think. Yeah, we can see the vegetation being evaporated. Wow, everything turned into deserts. Now let's make things 10 times hotter. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, it seems like all the continents merged and became one large desert. Okay, this is starting to look like a Mad Max movie. Yeah, it's funny how the South Pole hasn't melted yet. Let's be optimistic and see if there's still life. Yeah, I think it's impossible to have life at this temperature. And after a few years, we turned into a fireball. So let's hope that global warming doesn't destroy the Earth.
What would happen if we had more moons? So let's make a giant circle of moons. Yeah, I think that's enough. And there go our few moons. Okay, we can see the first collision happening. It seems like Earth is chilling so far. Yeah, but not for long. The first moon hit directly. I think people on Earth aren't very happy with this situation. It seems like the moons pulled the ocean into the middle of Earth. Okay, now all the moons started to collide. Wow, a ring of moons and fragments are colliding around Earth. So let's see how Earth is doing. Yeah, it's still in the same situation. On fire. Let's see if there is still life. Yeah, there's no one left to tell the story. Okay, I think 3,000 degrees is a bit hot. It seems like the moons have turned into fireballs. And Earth has turned into a fireball moon. That's crazy. We can see that most of them began to orbit our planet. So let's fast forward in time and see what happens. Ooh, that's not good. Most of the moons moved away from the Earth. Yeah, the sun began to pull most of them, leaving only one moon orbiting the Earth. I think now it's the end for Earth. Maybe in a few million years it will recover. What would happen if the Earth stopped rotating? So let's stop the planet's rotation. Yeah, we can see that only one part is facing the sun, and the other is in complete darkness. Wow, looks like the Andes Mountains melted in just a few months, and half of North America has already started freezing. Okay, now the vegetation is evaporating in South America. Africa has become a huge desert. Ooh, that's not good. The average temperature between Africa and Brazil is 90 degrees. You can fry an egg on the ground at that temperature. Let's be optimistic and see if there's still life. Okay, 20% is a very low number. The atmosphere started to heat up significantly. Wait a minute, now there's water in the middle of Africa. So let's fast forward in time and see what happens. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, it seems like there's nothing left in the part that received sunlight. The average temperature remains extremely high. On the other side, it's the opposite. The temperature is extremely low. I think life on Earth may no longer exist. Yeah, everyone died from either cold or heat. So let's pray that one day, the Earth won't stop spinning. What would happen if we created a small black hole? So let's put it here in the middle of the Earth and change its mass to be similar to that of Earth. Okay, a huge explosion just happened here. Wow, the explosion started throwing fragments forward. Yeah, we can see that the fragments increased a lot, and now they are falling back to Earth. What a disaster. The crater is expanding every moment in the ocean. We can see that the Earth is surrounded by dust, ending the chances of life on Earth. Yeah, look, this. The explosion crater became massive, causing tsunamis in South America. The water is engulfing the entire continent, leaving many countries underwater. The USA was also affected by tsunamis. We can see how strange the atmosphere has become with the explosion of the black hole and most of North and South America no longer exist. Let's fast forward a bit to see what happens. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, we can see that the crater has been covered by the ocean, but America couldn't recover from the disaster. So let's pray that one day, we don't create a black hole on Earth.